Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So today we're doing a wheel change. Surprisingly, I am still on summer tires. These are the ultra high performance summer. They are Michelin Pilot, uh, Pilot Super Sports. And they are 285, where'd they go? Uh, 285, 30, 20. Now, I'm going to the stock wheels. The stock wheels are Evo Gray with colored Audi Sports stickers. Um, I think you're gonna like them. The RS5 is filthy right now, so. Um, I might give it a wash, I don't know yet, but we're changing the wheel, and that's what this is about. Uh, there's a discount tire really close to me, and I run the same tires I run on basically all the cars that go in the winter. DWS 06s, uh, Continentals 275, 30, 20s on the stock wheels. So that's what's going on here. The stock wheels are 27.8 pounds. I'll insert the picture of the stock wheel on the scale right now. These are, uh, I'm trying to remember, 24? 24 pounds, I think, this wheel are. And the tire is 25 pounds, something like that. So it ends up being right around the 50 pound mark. Um, mounted up and aired. It's right around the 50 pound mark for each one. The new one is 23. The tire is lighter, but the wheel's heavier. So it's kind of the net same. Maybe four pounds more rotational mass, but it'll do way better in the winter than these tires so that's the idea behind what's going on it's really just for winter it's not to go fast um these tires i'm gonna take off and maybe i might junk them just because i'm not a huge fan of the tan sidewall so i might go down to whenever i go next to performance tires i'm probably gonna go down to 18s um maybe 18 by 10.5 with like 305 in the rear and maybe like 285 in the front I'm not sure yet i'm not sure yet but 18s i know 034 has an 18 that cleared his ginormous brakes right here so that's gonna be my next step um i'm also thinking a couple of exhaust is still bone stock literally from the turbos all the way back right now because it's stage one for emissions it's all bone stock. So I'm thinking a full titanium exhaust to drop some weight because the problem with uh, just doing the problem with just doing um, downturns is this car has valves in it. Oh, they are right up here, right there, right there. It has valves in it on both sides. That monitor, like the ECU monitor. So if you take it off and don't plug something back in, the car will throw a check engine light and reduce power. Kind of a weird thing, but this car does it. R35 GTR does it too. A lot of cars do that. So let's start the car, get it warmed up. The fancy pants, the iron roll. Anyway. So yeah, um, I tried doing a lightweight battery just so I can lose some more weight out of the car, but uh, um, this car and this car has other plans apparently and doesn't like the anti-gravity battery. So I guess we'll see what's going on with that. Um, yeah, so yeah, and those are the valves opening right there, but yeah. Those are the plans. So just kind of going over what I'm going to do for RS5. Um, the only other thing that I kind of want to do is race seats. I want to do um, the Kevman's twin red race seats. I think that it look really great in here. Although I kind of want to do it for the RS7 too, because the RS7 is the heavy one and needs weight reduction, not this one really. But yeah. Um, front lip, apparently, a random rock decided to fly, oh, not underneath, <laughs> it flew up and hit the top part of the lip, so, 
that's gonna be fun. It's a dark ghost front lip, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a different front lip. And something else I don't like about this lip is it doesn't connect to the car. As you can see, it's not connected. There's a there's a big gap. So I think this is a causing aerodynamic drag with no benefits whatsoever. So Carbon Imports makes a carbon fiber front lip that actually bolts to the body and seals against the front bumper. So there's no hole for air to travel, no air pockets. Um, I'm probably gonna leave this alone, leave that alone. I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you care what I do <laughs> or not. But anyways, yeah, just a quick update on the RS5. I'm going to do some wheels, so we're going to go to discount tire, and I will see you guys there. Yeah, it's super foggy this morning. I don't think uh, many people actually use their fog lights. I, maybe they forget that, you know, fog lights are for fog, for increased visibility, but... Um, yeah, it's just a really cold, foggy morning. Weird. It looks good for photography. Too bad. All right, check it out. Here we go. New wheels are on. Discount tire. New wheels are on. It's kind of what it looks like. Those are the stock wheels. Um, 275. I'm gonna find it for you. I gotta go wash the car and detail the wheels. 275, 3020s. Um, quite a bit of overhang from the tire. So, you know, it's a decent fitment. It'll protect my wheel from curb rash. Uh, 12 millimeter spacers. Those are 12 millimeter spacers. And here's the fitment up top. It's still slightly inset, which is crazy because these wheels are 26 offset. I also made sure, that's the color, the Audi Sport emblem. I also made sure they, uh, they use metal valve stems because um, NHRA rules demand metal valve stems for any car that runs 9.99 or faster. So hopefully I can run a 9.99 as it sits with the stock wheels and everything. It's a very good OEM Plus type of look. I like it a lot. I think I chose a good color for these wheels. But yeah, stock wheels, all season, DWS 06 um, plus tires. The car is filthy, so I'll go wash it on that note. Catch you guys in the next video. Oh, wow.